What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of The Plan. Now, I just want to let you guys know something that uh, the purpose of these video series, The Plan, isn't actually to gain thousands and thousands of viewerships. Actually, The Plan and my vlogs are actually more of a, a signal, like a Batman signal out to the community to look for like-minded people who share a similar dream or passion to see breaking evolve and grow while preserving the true essence and uh, preserving all the good things about breaking and evolve to a place where we can be along the likes of every other professional industry out there like skateboarding, rap, DJing, even graffiti, everything like you know in order for us to be at the same level we need to be making the same amount of money the more that you follow me on this journey through these videos you're gonna see the progression that I'm making and you're gonna start to realize that hey what I'm talking about is true we can make a living from breaking and it's not as hard as you think it is everyone else does it all the other industries do it right we just need to change the way of our approach we need to change a few things in our industry it's gonna take a lot of work but yeah we're making it happen well recently a video was released about the plan on the stance network and it's gained about almost 30,000 views and a lot of good comments on it people are saying wow like you know the plan actually does work and, uh, and what I wasn't prepared for is the fact that so many people are hitting me up and saying, hey, we want to do the plan here and do the plan, you know, in my country and whatever. And that's great. That, that is what I want to do. But I wanted to put something out there. Um, before you go ahead and do it, uh, take your time and research. Really think, think it over first because what we're trying to do is create a business that will last, right? That will, uh, where everybody can get paid. And the problem with this is that a lot of b-boys don't understand what it means to run a business or to be a businessman there are two types of businessmen good ones and bad ones right the bad ones are the ones that we all hate that give business a bad name but good businesses are the ones that can stick around that are professional and provide a very valuable service to the most amount of people possible okay so if you are going to join the plan and you do bad business Basically, if you screw it up, it's going to make it even harder for it to come back again. Or, you know, and that's what has happened in the 80s when breaking exploded all over the hip hop exploded all over the world in the 80s. Bad businessmen exploited it, showed it for something it wasn't. But we weren't ready. We weren't ready to do business and it crashed down. Now, same thing happened back in uh, the mid 2000s in Korea. Breaking exploded in Korea was everywhere. B-boys were getting like sponsors and they had a lot of fans but we didn't know how we didn't have a, a proper structure to keep a good fan base going actually b-boys treated fans not the right way the whole purpose of the plan is of course to make a living from breaking but the number one thing is to find out who are your customers we're not trying to make money from b-boys because b-boys don't have money right you know this is the reason we're doing we're doing this whole business so b-boys can can make money what we're doing is we're selling the beauty of a battle and then so that's what it's basically about building fans when you think about it every successful artist out there has fans that means if we can't have fans it's because we are not an art we're just a freaking job how many plumbers do you know have fans if we're a true art we should be able to have fans anyways before I begin I should show you this video uh, that was released on stance check it out I'm dizzy of the supernaturals crew Come join me as we take the b-boy culture to the promised land. You know skateboarding? Skateboard? And the young 17, 18 year olds make millions of dollars. You know, because they make it professional. So, we need to do the same. To all the b-boys, b-girls, and breakers of the world, and to those who may have lost hope by the financial struggles endured by the b-boy hustle and realities of the break life, it's your homeboy Dizzy of the Supernaturals crew, and I just wanted to deliver a message. A new movement in b-boying has begun. There's a way that we can earn a living, and not just for a handful of the best solo b-boys, but also for entire crews. If you or your crew are the best of your city, 
You can earn a living by creating city exhibition battles against rival cities while building fans, sponsors, and selling tickets and merchandise. As of now, Taiwan may be the first country in the world where the best of each city will be earning a great living just from battling. This is different than the regular b-boy competition tournament where only one winner out of all the participants gets paid. This one hour battle to the finish is between only two teams who each are the best of their entire cities. On December 10th, 2017, we accomplished our third rival city callout exhibition, which was held in a prestigious hotel in a small city called Jai. Not only was this a sold out venue full of the Jai Dream Runners fans and supporters, but we gave the fans nearly a one hour battle they could never forget. The Dream Runners has now become the hometown heroes of their entire city, gaining support from sponsors, their local government, the local media, and of course, their growing fan base who are willing to line up for hours to get a picture and autograph with their official city b-boys. But the plan isn't just for the Dream Runners and the other cities of Taiwan. We now have movement and growing potential city teams throughout Asia that want to join the plan. And most importantly, this plan is for all b-boys and b-girls across the world. Just want you to keep believing in the culture. As you can see, it keeps growing. So don't lose hope. Keep praying and believing. Stay tuned and we will see a new beginning in 2018. God bless. So anyway, I hope you liked that video. Um, if you really enjoyed it, uh, please click on like and subscribe on my channel. Uh, sharing is nice too. And uh, so if you wanna join the plan, please feel free to contact me. Um, and uh, just keep following these vlogs because I wanna release more things that need to be done. It's more than, it's not, it's not a one-time project. You're not just doing one event. When you do one event, if the whole purpose is to make fans, right? When you do one event, you don't want to end it there, right? That event has to catapult to the next event. So you have to continually be making a schedule in order to properly grow your fans. And this channel, The Plan, will be all about teaching you how to do this for your scene and for your city. Anyway, this is Dizzy Supernatural's crew, and I am out. Hey guys, I just launched a Patreon account in order to help me to continue creating this awesome content for y'all. If you could check it out and consider supporting me, it would mean the world to me. Thank you everybody. Peace.